for an investment that was possibly not the stock market for whatever the reason was. Either they didn't want the stock market or they already had mutual funds or they couldn't hold mutual funds or people that were looking for something a little bit different that you know, when the stock market collapses, wasn't gonna collapse with it or whatever it was they were looking for, this was a solution that potentially could be a very interesting to them. So tonight I invited uh, B2B to come speak with us. We have um, Itai Weiss, who is head of investments for B2B, who is going to present. We also have Alon Katz, the CEO of B2B here, and Roi Chayuka, the VP of distribution. They are all on the call with us. They can wave and say hello. If you want to look through the camera, you'll see Itai, Roi, and Alon waving to you. Um, so they are on the call. They will be able to answer all your questions. And what I'm going to do now is move to uh, Itai and let Itai um, let Itai present and explain. If you have questions, we are more than happy to have questions. As I said in my email, I'm all about financial education. I'm all about your understanding. I'm all about you knowing and place these decisions, investments coming from a place of knowledge. Um, please stay on mute for the meantime. I'm happy to have the videos. It's nice to see people, um, but please stay on mute for the meantime. If you have questions, put them on the chat. Um, and after the presentation, we will also allow you to say questions out loud, but if you want to put them on the chat. Meantime, we're more than happy for you to do that and um, so that we have the questions written down and we will make sure to cover all the questions. Okay, we're over to Itai. Hey, good evening. Thank you, uh, Rivka, first of all, for having me and thank you all for giving me the opportunity to speak about uh, BTB. Uh, again, my name is Itai, and what I'm going to do in the next uh, 20, 30 minutes or so, I'm going to go over what B2B has to offer, but before that, I'm going to explain about the bigger picture, which is uh, P2P, because I do want you to have the, the, the main idea, the concept of this uh, industry, and then to go specifically about what B2B has been doing for the last seven years or so, We've been around from uh, 2014. So uh, first, I'm gonna put with your permission uh, the presentation. I promise you I'm going to be speaking pretty much general about the idea, just a second. me all right so um let's talk about first of all what p2 p2p means basically p2p comes to challenge the traditional way um to combine between two sides needs uh, when talking about P2P investment, it means that if you have something that you want to generate from or you want to give something and someone else needs that, so back then you needed to have something like a third party to connect between two sides need. When talking about P2P investments, obviously we're talking about money. And the way that uh, it's been going for the last uh, 700 years or so is that if you have money and you put it in the bank, um, what's going to happen is that the bank is going to give loans out of this money. The bank will have a pool of money that belongs to you, belongs to the public. And from that, the bank will search for good borrowers to give loans to. And the reason is very simple. It's very clear because the bank will get interest out of it. It is a very good idea, a very good reason to do so. So B2B, B2B comes to do uh, come to do for you exactly what the bank have been doing for himself for the last hundreds of years. Meaning that with uh, BTB, you guys will invest, you will invest your money with BTB and from that, BTB will search the best and the most high quality borrowers that will get loans from that money and the interest, unlike the bank with what's going on right now, you'll get the interest straight to your pocket. Starting with the presentation, 
We're gonna go over why BTB, how are we different than any other competitors and what are the benefits investing with us. First of all, it's very important to say that when you invest your money, um, your money does not sit with BTB, it sits in a trust fund in Bank Leumi. It means that we don't have any um, um, way to take any of this money or to touch, or to touch this money. It means that your money will serve the purpose that I'm telling you right now. You invest a certain amount of money, let's say a million shekels, just for the sake of the example. B2B job is to search for the best borrowers, as I've mentioned. And how do we do that? How uh, do we make sure to minimize the risk to as low as possible? So first of all, we need to understand what is the risks involved when investing or dealing with uh, P2P investment. When you loan money, when you give money, then the risk obviously lies in the ability of the borrowers to pay you back the money, all right? So before you even give the money, you need to make sure that we are talking about someone that is able to pay back the loan, someone that is legit, strong ties to Israel, not someone that's gonna take the money and run away, and so on and so on. So when BTB first started, we thought about how can we make it possible? How can we make sure to give you guys the best possible borrowers to sit in your portfolio? So the first thing BTB decided to do is to create a model that says, we're gonna give loans only to business owners on only uh, to people who need money to, um, to make more money, a productive money, unlike a consumer money. And there is a very good reason for doing so. When I'm giving a loan to someone to make more money, by that I'm increasing the chances of him to pay me back the loan. Just for the example, if a transportation company is asking for a loan to buy another bus in order for that to reach more clients and to make more money out of it, obviously it increases their chances of paying me back the loans, unlike if I'm giving loans to someone that wants to renovate or to do a trip or something like that with all good cars. But I wanna make sure that when I'm giving you borrowers to, to be inside your portfolio, I am doing so carefully and I'm making sure that the borrowers can actually pay you back the loans. So first of all, B2B decided that this is going to be the concept, the main idea. We're gonna give loans to people that can to make more money out of the money that you guys invested. So this is first thing. Second, we wanted to have some standards, some minimum bars that the uh, borrowers needs to stand up to. It means that in order to ask for a loan from B2B, your business needs to have at least two years of activity. And the reason for that is pretty simple. Statistics shows that business that is one year old, one year and a half old, something like that, is more likely to fail uh, than others. So B2B decided to skip that part, not to deal with business that is one year old, one year and a half, and so on. B2B will only examine uh, loan requests submitted by business that have at least two years of activity. Having said that, still the average age of the business that gets loaned from BTB is nine years old. It's very important. Again, I remind you that your money sits on the ability of the borrowers to pay you back the money. It means that I need to make sure that the business that I'm going to give loans to is a strong business, is a business that already suffered difficulties, has some stomach and money aside to pay back the loan. And when someone is asking for a loan from BTB, the first department that he will see is the analysis department. And what they're going to do over there is to check the business from within, from without. They're going to check the financial history of this business, the digital assets of this business. Many times you will see that someone can say that his business has been around for nine or 10 or 11 years. And when B2B checks that and they check, especially his um, digital assets such as email address, we can find out that his email address has been around for two years, one year or so. B2B became an expert of when it comes to understand the ability of any business in Israel to make money, to make money and by that to pay back the loan. So again, someone wants a loan, he submitted a request, it is uh, first department is by far the biggest and most significant department in B2B, the analyst department. As I've mentioned, they will check everything there is to it. They will check the owner of the business to make sure that he doesn't have any other companies. It doesn't mean that if he does have, then he will be uh, ignored or anything like that. But we wanna make sure that if he have 
different companies, all of them are good. The bank accounts are good. It doesn't help us if you have one good company and two bad companies. We know that there is nothing we can do about it and we won't approve the loan. For that reason, the number that we actually approve is only 9% of the loan request. We deny 91% of the loans. Again, not because we want to be mean to business in Israel, but we want to be uh, committed to both the business and to you, the investors. Assuming that this business have at least two years old, uh, two years of activity, and this business is legit, and the bank account is okay, and we checked his uh, customers as well to make sure that the majority of the money of the business does not come only from one client or from two clients, and sometimes it can paint a very uh, bad picture. Sometimes you can look at a business and say, this is a good business, uh, high income, very steady income, but then when you check deep into the, into the uh, papers, into the uh, details, you can see that out of 500 clients, only two of them are paying. Again, it's a big no when it comes to B2B. So B2B will check everything and assuming that he is okay and everything checked out, we will continue then and ask for a guarantor from each and every uh, borrower that will be inside your portfolio. As I've mentioned, and I will keep saying that during the presentation, uh, because we want to make sure that no matter what will happen, we can minimize the risk to as low as possible. The guarantor that will come with the borrowers will also go through the analyst department, also be looked at, also be examined. And this uh, person needs to have a second income that's got nothing to do with the original uh, borrower. Why? We want to make sure that if I'm giving someone a loan and this someone is struggling to pay back the loan, so he's not bringing his employee as a guarantor because obviously if he will suffer, then the employee will suffer as well. So the guarantor will need to show that he can hold the loan by himself in case something shall happen. In addition to that, the guarantor needs to have a very strong relationship with the original borrower. Why? Because it's not enough that the borrower will have some uh, legal commitment to the loan. We want to make sure that he have a very strong commitment to the guarantor as well, so that when he will pay back the loan, he will understand that this is his burden and he's alone and he needs to pay it on a monthly basis. BTB managed to raise up until today over 600 million shekels investments and the interest paid to investors so far is almost 40 million shekels. Now I'm gonna give you some numbers. BTB managed to, um, to make around 7% roughly a year for uh, the investors, 7% a year. This number is phenomenal. And the reason that we managed to do it a year after year is because BTB does not um, um, give any kind of discount when it comes to the analysis department. All right, so everyone that checked in BTB will go through everything possible to make sure that this is a good borrower. Again, I want to ensure that this is a good potential borrower to sit in your portfolio. In addition to that, there is also the ideologic um, concept in it. Many people want to invest, especially by the way, in these times, to invest in Israeli businesses. It's very important. When you look outside, you need to understand that in Israel, there is more than 600,000 business, small and medium-sized business in Israel. This number, by the way, increases every year by 10,000. First of all, it shows you the potential. Many business needs loan, and they don't have the right address for that. Banks, a uh, long time ago, stopped stop providing for this kind of business. Why? Because they prefer to work only with huge business a uh, huge cooperation, chuva, uh, offer, and big companies that they can serve. Small and medium-sized business in Israel, um, BTB became, with time, the main address for them. It means that on one side, we have a huge potential, always have clients that need money. On the other side, many investors that want to put money someplace that it will actually generate profit for them. Now, I do want to be honest with you and tell you from now, that giving loans, it's not the most original idea that BTB could come up with, all right? This idea has been around for what, a thousand years? There is a very good reason why the bank did that because it's working for the long term. It will always work. Bank will always make money from that. The only question that we need to ask ourselves, how come money that belongs to us that sits in the bank 
produces money, but not to us. Most of us will get something like 0.1% a year. Again, BTB will produce something like 7% roughly a year revenue. So this is the main difference. So as I've mentioned, our borrowers are small and medium-sized business in Israel. And assuming that they pass the first barrier of the analyst department, right now we want to make sure that despite the effort that we did and despite the very thorough exam that we did to this business, we want to make sure that if something should happen, we have some other mechanism to work, some other defense mechanism to protect you. So first of all, let us talk about diversification. Every time when you invest, you want to make sure that your portfolio does not sit on one borrower or does not sit on one industry, one sector. You want to make sure that if you have a million shekels, again, just for the sake of the example, that let's assume that right now one business asks for a loan, 800,000 shekels. And he is a great this is a great business, a great owner, and the analyst department have decided that this will be a great fit for your portfolio. Still, you wouldn't want 800 thousand shekels to be taken out of your million shekels. Why? Because it's too risky to be depend on one person. On the other hand, let us say that I will give you thousand different people, but all came from the same industry, from the same sector. It's still not enough. Even if it's a thousand people, something shall happen to this sector. Everybody will go together with that. So B2B made sure that the, the diversification will be on few ways. First of all, many, many different borrowers inside your portfolio. When, you'll open your, um, when you open your platform, BTB platform, you will see hundreds, sometimes six and 700 different people that are the two clones from you, different business. Second, different sectors. You have all kinds of business from Israel. Even more than that, geographically speaking, you don't want all your business to be from one city in Israel. Why? Because the situation in Israel is complex. You all know that. So you want to make sure that your business that sits in your portfolio does not correlate with one another. Got nothing to do with one another. A transportation company in Kiryat Shmona or Naria got nothing to do with a digital company in Tel Aviv. It's very important, and especially during the corona time, you saw how the domino effects happen uh, when it comes to stock market and so on. And when sometimes you want to invest with the gold and it's uh, reverse correlation with the US dollars and so on. So BTB created a portfolio, a diverse portfolio for you that have many different borrowers from different sectors, from different places in Israel. And all of them will produce around 7% a year um, revenue for you guys. So as again, I mentioned the analysis department. Um, I should say, again, the biggest and most significant department in B2B, and the reason is because we understand that in the end, um, as strong as we want to make our defense mechanism, we want first to prevent any kind of problem that the future can bring. It doesn't mean that all the time no problem will happen. It doesn't mean that you will never have default inside your portfolio, but it does mean that we can minimize the risk and when comes the time to have default in your portfolio, we will deal with that as well. And this is very important. BMatch system. BMatch system is an original technology that was developed inside BTB. This is a genius system that the job of it is to um, take every night, every night the system takes all the loans in BTB to one big basket, reshuffle it and give it again to all the investors in BTB. Why? Let us assume that right now you have 300 loans um, sitting in your portfolio. Right now I have some new investors and I want to spread the loans as much as I can. I want to minimize your exposure to any kind of loan. If right now you have a million shekels with 400 uh, borrowers, I want to make sure that tomorrow maybe I can, instead of 400, have 500. By that, I minimize your exposure to any kind of borrowers inside your portfolio. The BMH will do it automatically. By the way, the BMH will also help you uh, liquid your account once you want to withdraw. So every night, there is an um, automatic system that will take all the loans in BTB from all the investors, will reshuffle it, and then give it back to the investors. 
Karen Tour, as I've mentioned. Legal defense. There is in-house legal department in BTB. It's very important for many reasons. First of all, every borrower that will be approved um, for a loan in BTB will come here to the office and will sign the contract together with the guarantor. Why it's important? Because many times, despite the effort that you made at the beginning, when it comes to deal with the guarantor, sometimes you might say, I didn't quite understand. Um, the picture wasn't whole for me, wasn't complete. When it comes to sign uh, the contract in BTB, he will sit with the legal department that will go over the contract. Every borrower and guarantor will understand exactly what they are signing on and what they are committing to, and it's very important. In case of a default, let's say something happened, and sometimes, again, I'm telling you, it can happen. Legal department will deal with that. You won't be affected at the meantime. You will get your money that belongs to you, uh, both um, your money and the interest that the, borrow, the borrower should pay you. In the meantime, in-house legal department will deal with the borrowers. Mutual guarantee fund. This is by far the most impressive tool that we have to offer in BTB. And why do I say that? First of all, because it holds an amazing 100% success rate. Every investor in BTB, <clears throat> sorry, every investor in BTB, regardless of the size of the portfolio, you can deposit uh, 200,000 shekels, you can deposit 5 million thousand shekels. Um, at his first year of deposit, he will contribute 1.15% to what we call mutual guarantee fund. In case of a default inside your portfolio, what will happen is that you will get your money from like a side part, the mutual guarantee fund that contain 1% of every investment in BTB. So even if you have someone that cannot pay right now the loan, by the way, it doesn't mean that you won't be able to pay the loan in the future, but in the meantime, while the legal department will take care of everything, you guys will get your money from the mutual guarantee fund. And it's very, very important. And again, the mutual guarantee fund up until today managed to hold 100% of the time. We didn't have one client that did not receive his money from either the borrowers or the mutual guarantee fund. Again, as I mentioned at the beginning, and this is a, a key point, you want to deal with a company that you know that even if something shall happen to it, or um, a lot of you guys can be skeptical, you can speak with me as many times as you want, but in the end, you want to make sure that your money sits in a trust fund in a bank. Why? Because I don't need to tell you many cases before that happened that companies dealt with uh, investors' money, moved money around. We don't have any access to it. Again, your money will sit in a trust fund and will be used only for the purpose that you entered for, only for the purpose that I've told you. You have money, sits in the trust fund, being a part of a pool of money, will be given as loans to a small and medium-sized business in Israel. And this is comparing B2B against uh, the benchmark indices. B2B by far, uh, during the last seven years, showed the most impressive numbers possible in Israel and doing so with a very solid and um, trustworthy portfolio with a great purpose to it. Again, I don't know how many of you, um, some care more than the other about the agenda, about the purpose of your money, about how you want to support Israeli business. I found it very, very important. The company think it's very important. So to combine that part, this aspect, together with actually making money because in the end of it, it's okay, we can say that. We are all here to make money. And when we're thinking about an alternative, right now, either to put the money in the bank, doing actually absolutely nothing. <clears throat> By the way, when I'm saying nothing, I mean nothing for us. It makes a lot for the bank, but it's doing absolutely nothing. And the alternative is actually to put it in a place that will support Israeli business while making roughly 7% a year. I think that the numbers are very, very impressive. This is actually how the platform looks like. You will find BTB by far the most transparent platform in Israel, in my opinion, in the world. Why? Because every little detail that attached to your portfolio will be shown to you. So this is how it looks like. You'll get uh, into your personal area and you will see the amount of loans that you have 
um, and each and every one of them, what is the interest that he pays? I remind you, by the way, your revenue is the interest that the borrowers are paying. BTB does not take anything from that. We do make our money from other places and I will get to it. But every interest that you will see on your personal area on the platform, this is your revenue from this specific loan. So you will see a lot of lines in this case. By the way, this is um, a real uh, account. We only changed the name of it, obviously, the name of the uh, person that holds this account. So you will see that this person have almost 500 different loans. Every line over there will represent the loan, of course, the period of time that the loan has been given to, the amount of payment that this borrower has paid so far. At the top, you will see total. This is the amount of money that you guys have after taxes. By the way, taxes is a very important issue with B2B. Unlike most um, investments channels that you will have and pay 25% tax, with B2B, you will only pay 15% tax, first of all. Second of all, the number that you see above is after uh, managed fees, is after tax, and it's after the deduction that I've mentioned to the mutual guarantee fund. The annual interest over there is 6.76. Uh, Again, as I mentioned, roughly 7% a year. And you guys can see absolutely everything, the situation of every different loan that you have inside your portfolio. Big gold. During Corona time, uh, we understood that people are seeking for something more secure, for uh, more things to hold their loans. In BTB, you have two types of loan, in between 100,000 shekels to a million and a million and above. When talking about a million and above loan, then but from the fact that he will go to the analyst department and but from the fact that he will bring a guarantee together with that, he will also need to lean uh, physical assets, a house, or sometimes a cash deposit to go along with that. The Big Gold is actually a program where you can decide that all of your, all you One moment, we'll wait for Itai um, to put the thing back on. Meantime, we'll take your questions in the chat. Can you guys hear me now? I'm sorry for that. I yes. Got disconnected. Yes, Itai, you can continue. Just, just let me share screen again. Okay, sorry for that. So to continue, as I've mentioned, we have the Big Gold. It's an amazing program. It does not mean that on the regular program, you guys don't have golden loans. You will have, but this is another way of you securing yourself if you wish to do so. There are few differences in, this, uh, in the condition of this program to the classic one. First of all, the fees are a bit different. You guys are paying. 0.5% a year as a fees, a management fees, and the big gold you will pay 0.7. That's the main uh, difference. Um, continuing. All right, just a second. So impact of Corona on business owners. Obviously, we cannot uh, skip this part. We need to address Corona and how do we deal uh, with Corona, with B2B. As I've mentioned, you, you are dealing here with giving loans to business in Israel. So we need to understand how did B2B manage to maintain a very high success rate even during the Corona time. So as I've mentioned before, we are talking about nine-year-old on average uh, business that gets loan in B2B. It means that most, the majority of the business that you will see fail, shut down, are very young. 
and we don't deal with that, luckily for us. Second of all, the deep analysis that we did at the beginning gave us the chance to speak with, the, with each and every uh, borrowers that we have in B2B and every business and to understand their situation and many times to prevent default even before it happened. How do we do that? Sometimes instead of uh, keeping a loan that we gave a business, let's say one business took a loan for four years and right now he suffers for, from some difficulties, instead of um, fighting uh, with the borrowers, we can spread the loan sometimes to six and seven years and so. And this, this helped us actually prevent default during the corona. All right, so in here we have the Refer a Friend program. Obviously, each and every one of you, once you'll become our client, hopefully you'll become our client. You guys can, uh, I can tell you that a lot of the clients in B2B came from Refer a Friend. Many clients are very satisfied with the performance and they are bringing friends. Of course, every friend that you will bring to the platform will give you extra 200 shekels to your, uh, to your portfolio. This is some uh, legal issues that I will also send at the end of the presentation to show you. And this is the basic idea of BTB and what we have to offer. In the end, I will say that BTB asks not to change your routine at all. What we ask and what we offer is for you guys to do exactly what you have been doing so far. You have a certain amount of money that sit someplace and is doing nothing. I am offering you to invest it here, to enjoy the interest that it can make for you, to do exactly what the bank have been doing so far, only that this time, let the money work for you and do absolutely nothing. Let BTB take care of everything. Um, and this time, open for questions, please. Itai, thank you. Thank you very much for the presentation. Um, a couple of questions. Um, if you want to stop the screen share maybe and we'll uh, see everyone. Um, so just a couple of questions. One is the gold loans. Someone asked, does it give exactly the same rate? Because these loans are backed by property. Could you just explain that a little bit more, how they're backed? Um, and, um, and then uh, what rate people can expect if it's the same or if it's something different? The rate is pretty much the same. Um, most of the gold loans are something like 5% plus uh, prime. Prime today is 1.6%. So we are talking about 6.5, 6.7. Sometimes it can be less, sometimes it can be a bit higher. But overall, we are talking about pretty much the same rate. But it is, by the way, the, 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 um, another difference between that and the classic program is that in this case, you are closing your funds for um, 18 months, unlike the other option where you can withdraw your funds at any given point. Okay, so just to highlight that, if anyone wants to go for the gold backed, which makes them feel mm -hmm. more secure because it's backed by property, they have to lock in their money for 18 months. There's also a minimum amount of money they can deposit in that. Whereas when you go to the regular BTB, Indeed. you can deposit as little as 10,000 shekel, but with the gold backed, can you remind, can you tell us what the minimum it is? is? I, I will say a few things. First of all, the minimum is 50,000 shekels uh, for the golden uh, program. And yes, you do need to close your funds for 18 months. However, you can decide that you want to withdraw your interest on a monthly basis. That got nothing to do with that. And I'm gonna give you an example. Many people, uh, especially people who went pension and they received from their workplace, let's say a million shekels, they've invested that with BTB and received around 0 0.45, something like that, uh, a month, uh, percent a month uh, interest. So they've decided that they want to withdraw their interest on a monthly basis and to live by that. The million shekels sits in BTB, obviously, uh, divided by, you know, two loans but they are enjoying the interest on a monthly basis and that they can do both on the classic program and the gold program as well. So when they're not on the gold program, when they go for the regular program, because I see someone's asking that also, um, 
you can pull out money officially whenever you want. However, during Corona, we saw that it was just delayed. It wasn't that people couldn't get their money out. It was just delayed. I'd like you to explain that a little bit more to people. Indeed, indeed. Um, as I've mentioned, we have the BMH. The BMH every night takes all the loans from B2B and give it back to the investor. When you want to withdraw, when you click withdraw, you submit the amount that you want. It can be the entire amount of, or some of it. The difference is that every night the BMH takes the loan and give it back to everyone, only that this time it will not give you back the money. Therefore, putting the money aside. Yes, during Corona time, when you want to withdraw, basically what I need to do is to take all the loans inside your portfolio and to, to give it to some other investors. Corona is a difficult time. Many people lost their job. Many people needed to pay salaries for other people. They needed their money. So yes, during that time, instead of withdrawing the funds, usually it took us a few days to liquid um, 100,000 shekels, 200,000 shekels. It took longer than that. I will say that. Yes, during Corona time, I would advise a month ahead to ask for a certain withdrawal. More than that, I will say, in the end of this process, during Corona time, the biggest crisis, the economy crisis we knew um, in the last 150 years, the only thing that was delayed is the withdrawal, the liquidity. But from that, the profit remained the same, the revenue remained the same, the interest remained the same. Uh, more than that, the loans that BTB gives today, the majority of them, almost all the loans are golden loans anyway. A lot of you will enjoy many golden loans, even if you will stay in the classic program. I hope that answer. <laughs> That no, wasn't it, clear. One I, moment. That I wasn't can barely clear. Hear you. If you tie, you could repeat the question. I couldn't. I couldn't hear him. To be honest. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I said that some questions were raised regarding the account um, in the presentation which I showed. If you could open the example account that is on the presentation again and show the numbers. Just a second. I think you want me to show the personal area. Yeah. All right. Just bear with me a yeah. second, please. Please show it. And uh... can you guys okay. see it now? So one thing I find um, that I just want to share with people that I found very good when I when various of my clients invested with me to be was that the platform itself um, can be used in English. So everything's there for them. It's not like, you know, try, unlike the banks where when you go into the bank account in English, you can see very, very little and do absolutely nothing. Here, you're able to do things in English. You can see the breakdown of your loans. Um, I'm noting here that while you've got a lot of detail, which loan rep repayment, what the interest is, how long the loan is, all the details are there. Obviously, it's blind what companies you're actually lending the money to. So you'll have your 480 loans. I think in mine, I also have about 400 loans. I can see my 400 loans. I can see where they stand. I can see what's being repaid. And all of that is in English. Um, and I think that's a huge, huge benefit also. Um, that everything can be seen in English. And the other thing I want to point out, which I know Itai said, and I'm just re whatevering it, is people do one of two things that, I mean, if this is obviously people do many things, but one thing is um, that if you put in a large sum, you can pull out the interest on a monthly basis. So as the interest is being paid from each one of these 400 loans, the interest can be put as a lump sum into your bank account each month. So I have a number of clients who put in large sums and then they, they, you know, they get their few thousand shekel, depending how much they put in, they get that out every month into their bank account. So it adds to their passive income, which is incredible. Let's say for people that are retired that have a lump sum. And the other thing people do, which I saw was very missing, was um, 
when I was working at the bank, we used to have people do what's called a holat kev, an automated payment into their mutual funds every month. And that way they were sort of automatically saving, which is one of my philosophies. Like don't wait and see if there's money left at the end of the month. Invest when you can, um, you know, decide that you're investing. Don't wait to see when you can and, and make sure it happens. And one of the things one can do here is invest. You could put in, you know, some sum and then every month do a holat kev, do an automated auto pay into the account. So you're adding to it every month rather than waiting to see, can I afford, can I buy the stock, whatever. You're just doing it and you're automating it. And I personally found that extra ex exceptionally useful. Um, okay, what I want to do now um, is open up for questions that people can actually ask. So Itai, if you wanna do, stop the screen sharing. Um, maybe I'll move back to host and um, anyone that wants to ask a question, just put your hand up or write to me and um, we'll allow people to ask questions to the group. One minute, I'm just looking through to see if anyone has their hand up. So either everyone's too shy or I don't see anyone or everything was so incredibly clear that there are no questions. Okay, um, I actually have a question. David, Sorry, my ahead. hand wasn't in the camera. What's the minimum length of time to keep the principal amount in, not the interest, but the principal? Let's say I put in 10,000 and then I, let's say I put in 30,000 and then after six months, I need to pull out 10,000 of the principal amount. So what is the minimum time requirement of the principal amount and any potential penalties? Um, the answer is very, very simple. No limit and no fees or anything like that when you want to withdraw the principal amount. You can put it to as many times, to as you know, to long as you want to. Um, the way that you do it, actually, as I've mentioned, is that once you click withdraw, we simply need to take the loans attached to your portfolio and to put it on other investors. That's it. Alone, it's very hard to hear you, Alone. I'm writing you in the chat, please look over it. Good, so uh, uh, he just said that he's writing uh, another answers on the chat so you guys can see it but again as i've mentioned there is no time limit or anything like that uh, the idea of btb is not to hold any client you came here to enjoy what your money can do for you and that's it there is no um no surprises uh, over there Itai, I'd just like to clarify, there used to be that when you went in immediately that 1% to that default fund or whatever you call the default fund, I don't remember, was taken immediately. It's now not taken immediately and taken over the first year, correct? Indeed. However, you do need to understand that um, you're absolutely right. Back then when you joined, you gave 1% to the, to the mutual fund. Today, the way that it's worked, it will be divided to 12 months. However, when you want to withdraw, um, you will need to complete the amount of money of this 1%. And the reason for that is that if you have a default sitting in your portfolio and you enjoyed other people 1% to serve you and to pay you back the money, there needs to be um, equal chance for everybody. But yes, these times when you join BTB, instead of paying 1% immediately, it will be divided uh, to 12 months together so, with by the way the fees that you are paying the, the, the management fees so I think what's important to note is David that when you when you asked your question Itai answered you could take you put your money in today and take it out tomorrow or in a month but you you have to pay into that one percent fund once you've gone in so I wouldn't do it if you think you're gonna need your money in a month or two months or three or even six. I would do it if you need a little longer. But if you did need the money, then the answer is yes, you can pull it out, absolutely. Mm -hmm. oh, well, and correct me if I'm wrong about that, anyone is the timeline absolutely. not to pay the 1% neither. So I was trying to check on that as well too. You want to not pay the 1%, sorry? Yeah, like this, it's like you hold something like a CD and it's there for 18 months. So I can't pull out until then uh, to avoid penalty or the 1%. It's not a penalty and I will explain. Uh, I completely okay. understand, but I will explain. 
Pardon me if I'm asking something simple. <laughs> no, 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 don't. Please ask whatever you want. I'm here to answer. Okay. When you join B2B, when you join uh, this concept, you are putting your money on other people. You're giving loans to people. You are taking into consideration the possibility of someone not paying back the loan. You do understand that. And the only way that I'm going to pay you back the loans, despite the fact that the borrowers cannot pay you back the loan, is from that mutual fund. And the mutual fund contain 1% of any other investors in B2B. So just like you enjoy that, just like the mutual fund protected you, when time comes for um, Moshe or for uh, Rivka for that matter, she should be able to enjoy your part as well, just like you enjoyed her. B2B believes in you know, equal, equal chance for every investor and we should all enjoy one another mutual funds. And this is the reason. But again, if you think about it, after two and a half months only, you already cover your 1% to the mutual funds. So it's not even an issue, in my opinion. Yeah, no, of course. I wouldn't do this for short term, but anything can happen. Indeed. So um, someone's asking if it's like insurance, and it sort of is like insurance. You lose a percent. It is, it is also- kind of. Yeah, which also means you need to take into account that your first year, you're going to, like the numbers you gave, you're going to lose that money over the first year, that 1%. So just when people are calculating what they'll actually bring home net, you need to take that off because you do lose 1% of what you invested. You're going to pay 15% tax. um, And there's the half a percent management fee. So I just want that to be clear to everyone. Um, that you know, those are the fees that are out there. Um, in, in, the first, in the first in the first year, Rivka, can I add, please, that in the first year you're gonna get four percent netto, okay? And the second year, and the third year, and the fourth year, you're gonna get something like five between five to five point five percent, okay? You just look at that at in the first year you're gonna earn less. Okay, that's it. It's not gonna gonna lose something. Okay, you're just gonna earn less one percent. That's it. And in the next year, you're gonna earn all the five percent. Five between five to five point five every year. Okay. Okay. I don't. It's high. I don't know if this is something you answer, but um, Americans are asking uh, regarding American tax. This doesn't, fa- why doesn't this fall under the same thing as mutual funds and factor problems? Is that something you can answer? Um, to be honest, I'm not qualified to give tax uh, advice. I will say that, that unlike you are not investing in companies, that's the main reason. You are not investing in BTB. You are not holding any kind of stocks or anything like that. Your money will be served to give as the loans. And I think this is one of the main difference between traditional investment, if I can say that, and to that. But again, I don't really want to give tax uh, advisors because I, this is not my, my expertise and I want to be very careful. Yes, every American that comes to B2B to deal with B2B will need to fill up forms, uh, FATCA and W9, uh, because we do work with uh, the U.S. authorities and we need to declare that. Like uh, bonds, like you're holding a, a, a straight bonds in your bank account, okay? It's something very familiar. Bonds are loans, it's the same. And if you go to the bank and you want to invest in bonds straight, not in mutual fund, it's okay, okay? It's not, a, uh, it's not something that you cannot do. Okay. okay. Um, next is another... Question question here is the interest generally uh, earned generally added to the investment and reinvested or paid out of course this is one of the most uh, enjoyable times uh, that, that you look at your money actually grows and then produces more money compound interest um, there is two type of investors those as I've mentioned that want to live from the interest on a monthly basis and those that don't really need liquid money at this point so every interest will go straight inside uh, and will be given as a loan during the night with the B match. And this is how you can make more and more money. We have a client that's been around from 2014 and their effective uh, interest till today is more than 20% from their, from their initial deposit because of it. 
because the interest kept walking on itself, compound the interest again and again. So basically, it's up to the it's up to the client which they choose when they go very, in. Very very simple. Very simple. This is one of the things that you define when you are establishing your account with BTB. You decide how you want your account to work. You want it to automatically send the interest to your bank account on a monthly basis, or you want to put it in. You can even open a small account inside your account as a savings account for your kids, grandchildren, or any other purpose that you can. Okay, I think excellent. Philip had a, uh, had a question. Philip? Wave to ask a question before. Thank Philip you, yeah. Please. Thank you very much. Um, several questions. First is a general one. Uh, Rivka, are you able to um, share the transcript of all these questions and answers to, to an email to everybody? We have, I won't be transcripting it, but we have recorded this and you will be able to get a recording of it if that's helpful to okay. you. Great. Um, two more questions, if I may. Um, what factors determine the interest rate on each loan? Why does it vary? If everyone is, you know, let, let's say you do 100 loans, why is there, you know, you're saying it's an average of 7%. Why, does it, why, is, why isn't there a fixed return? Um, it depends, obviously, on uh, the business that asks for the loans, the amount, the period of time that we are going to give the loans to. Um, so um, uh, there is a committee that sits and decides exactly what can this borrower pay. Uh, we need to make sure that before we give huge interest rate that might profit you or us, in the end of it, we need to make sure that he's able to pay back the loan. So we need to uh, dive deep into the numbers to understand, first of all, what he can pay, if he can pay, what uh, the period of time. There, there is a difference between four years and seven and eight years. Obviously, the interest will change accordingly and according to the amount as well. Um, for example, if you decided to bring one house, two houses, and so you will change the interest accordingly. If you attach um, the cash deposit and a house, to it, the interest will uh, will be different. The interest when, moves in between five to eight percent. When we between the securities, theory, yeah. When we did, when we choose who to lend to, do we know the amount of possible return based on who we lend to, or there's no way to know? Absolutely. When you look at your portfolio, you will see. Um, as I showed you before, you will see the different loans that you have inside you attached to your portfolio. You will see the amount of money that you exposed to this loan. You will see the time, uh, the period of time that this loan was given to, and you will see the interest that he will pay you, and you will see the overall amount that you will get in the end of this loan. So just for the sake of the example you gave, you exposed 5,000 shekels to a certain loan or 100 shekels to a certain loan. In the end of it, you'll get 150 shekels. You will see it. Uh, can I, I add like something? To clarify, please? yeah. Uh, okay, you cannot going. choose the loans, okay? It's automatic pilot, okay? You just put the money and the algo, the algo just doing everything for you, okay? You can choose only two courses, the regular one and the gold one, okay? You cannot choose on peak loans, okay? You just, we do it everything for you. Ah, okay. Um, is there an early, I don't know if someone asked this last question. Um, is there an, let's say the, uh, the investor, us, the investors, the loaners, um, wanted to withdraw our money, all of it. Uh, is that optional? I mean, is that, is that an option? It is an option. Again, uh, to remind Break you- Break our knees for that? I, I will tell you exactly how it works. And when you have, um, let's say 500 different loans attached to your portfolio, the majority of them will be perfect loans, a white loan. This is how we call it. It means that the borrowers are paying their uh, loans on a monthly basis, no problem. However, you will see some loans that are not being paid. There is some problem. You are getting your money from the mutual funds. However, you come and say, I want to withdraw that money as well. So B2B created inner market where you can actually sell your default to other people. When you want to sell it, you sell it for 75%. And the 
and the buyer, the one that actually buy the loan, is buying that uh, for 85%. There is a 10% gap that goes to the mutual funds, not to BTB. Now you will see with time that if you want to sell what we call red loan, this is a loan that someone for any reason cannot pay back. When you want to sell that kind of loan, you will have many potential buyers that want to buy this loan. Why? First of all, because they know they won't be affected. They will get their money from the mutual funds. Second of all, because more than 60% of our borrowers will get to an agreement and then there will be a perfect borrowers again. They will pay back their loans. So many people want to buy uh, red loans, problematic loans, if I, might say, if I may say that. They will buy it from you and this is how we can liquid your account. So yes, you can take your entire money at any given point, even the red one or the default one in a different rate. I, but I want to, I, I want to add time. something. Yeah, go uh, ahead. It depends on the liquidation, okay? In regular times, the average was one week, one and a half week, okay? In terms of uh, when lots of people uh, uh, want to hold the money together, uh, you will get your money through the paychecks. Okay, because we cannot uh, give all the people together the money because the business just bought a machine and he just paying back with checks. Okay, so if everybody wants the money together at the same time, we will not be able to do it. Okay, but in regular times, it's one week, one and a half week, something like that. You get your money. Okay, uh, is it? Uh, did you understand, Philip? I think so. Uh, I mean, I want to see, I want to see all the rules in one place because I'm not going to remember all this stuff. But um, <laughs> <laughs> it's all on the B two B website. Obviously, yeah. we have everything uh, in the terms and condition on the website. Um, by the way, you are more than welcome to contact us one on one. You can come visit in the office, or you can do it over the phone, Corona time, and we will explain you again and again. In the end, when an investor join, is joining us, I want to make sure that you understand everything. So we, we are going to build a long relationship and I want you to understand exactly how BTB works, what the advantage of BTB and why I believe that every person in Israel, if you have any kind of money sits in the bank, it should sit here. And this is um, my job to convince you why we are so good. So you are more than welcome to call even after this presentation. Um, okay, we've gone an hour, which is how long we said we'd go. Um, if there are, I just want to thank everyone for joining us. Anitai for giving the presentation and Roy and Alon from B2B also for taking the time out this evening to present to the Living Financially Smarter community. If anyone has additional questions, um, PM me, I'll give you everybody's email address at B2B, phone numbers, anything else. Um, and uh, if you want to stay on, anyone privately wants to stay on for a couple more minutes and ask a question, that's great. Otherwise, uh, we're done. I wish everyone a good evening and good health. Thank you very much, guys. Have a good evening. A pleasure. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Have a good evening Thank and you. enjoy the, the left of the summer. <laughs> <laughs> Can I ask a question, maybe Rivka or somebody else? Um, as, as Anglos here, uh, English, Americans, etc., if someone has a choice between investing in a similar type of uh, investment in America or investing in one in Israel, why would they choose one in Israel over one in America? What's the advantage? Should I answer, I mean, other, Roy? Other than the Zionistic yeah, reasons. I don't want to hear that. That's <laughs> obvious. But in terms of a financial uh, tool. So first of all, as far as I understand, you'll be taxed a little bit higher if you invest outside Israel as a non, and you have to report it in Israel. Um, second of all, people want, the rates were fairly similar. When I looked, at least when I did my research into what was out there, the rates were fairly similar um, without necessarily the same level of security. Um, that, that's from my findings. I didn't find that you were getting higher rates. And then the shekel currency exchange, the shekel dollar ex currency exchange, the shekel has been in your favor for the last 20, 30 years. I mean, certainly I've been, I've been dealing with investments and finance for 20 years. 
it's been in your favor to have your money in shekels for the past 20 years, let's say. So you get your interest here, you um, pay less tax, as far as I remember, but don't hold me to that. Um, your return is either similar or a little bit higher. Um, and it's here. Those are what I what I saw the benefits. Besides helping one, Israel. One, one, one more benefit is uh, yeah. we live in Israel and you can choose to invest wherever you want to, okay? But if you invest in us, in BTB, you probably will help Israeli businesses to grow and all the industrial and all the economic in Israel, okay? And you put your money somewhere else abroad, you help other people, not the Israelis, okay? So you can also say, except of the taxes and everything is limit patriotic, okay? And one more thing that you can think of, okay? I'm being asked privately um, how it compares to Kupat Gemel Hashka'a. If OE would like to comment on that. Yeah, Kupat Gemel uh, for investment, uh, I don't know how to say it in English, but Kupat Gemel to is is um, it's the stock markets and the bonds, okay? It's the traditional markets and BTB is alternative, okay? If someone want, doesn't want the volatility that you get in the stock markets, uh, BTB is the option, okay? And when you see that we give something in the average 5% netto a year, in Kupat Gemel Ashka, you will have to do average every year with the tax and the a, a management fee, uh, something like 7.5% brutto a year. It's, I don't think any Kupat Gemel to Ashka can, can, can give it yearly year after year after year after year. For us, it's like, a, it's like the story about the turtle compete the, the rabbit, you know, the turtle and the rabbit, the, the, the stocks market and the bonds market, the credit market, it's like the rabbit. It goes ups and downs, ups and downs. And BTP is like the turtle, okay? It wins in the end. It's just step by step by step. Every month you get half percent, okay? And you just grow it linear. Okay, so in the end, BTP gives more than the usual stocks and bonds market together because 5% netto a year for the last six and a half, six and a half years, we did more than Kupat Gemel to Ashka. Okay, definitely. Um, if I can add, I think it's also a diversification. Like a lot of people have Karen Ishtalmut from work and their pension, a lot of things that are in the stock market and bond market. And here's, and you know, when that, that crashed, let's say the beginning of Corona, um, this is something totally different. And that diversification is, is very valuable um, as part of people's investment strategy. Yes, of course. You can have Kupat Gemel Ashkara as a liquid, okay, liquid uh, saving that you can liquidate in, in two days or something like that. Uh, depends on the market, so you can liquidate in, in a discount of 10, 15, 20%, like in the last uh, March, okay, in uh, two or three days. But in the PTP, it's less liquid, okay? But we can, give, we can do a lot of things, okay? You can uh, redeem the interest every month, okay? Uh, as a withdrawal, and you can gain it, and you can, uh, uh, make a repeat, a repeat, you know, to, to hold it inside and make more profits. It's a, it's an, it's a just competitive product. Okay. Can I ask a question about competitors? Um, I don't know if this was addressed earlier in the call and I didn't hear it, but obviously there are other people in the space like Taria and Blender. And I'm just curious, how do you compare the how do you compare these products? Where, where are your strong points vis-a-vis -vis your strong points are, for us, it's that we are very diversified, okay? Because we, we give a lot of business, kind of business uh, loans, okay? Taria is focused on real estate loans, okay? So if something happened to the real estate market, it's gonna be a bummer for them, okay? Or for the lenders, let's say it more like that, okay? I don't think that the uh, real estate market is gonna, something gonna to happen to him, but it's a risk that everything you have to, to consider it, okay? Um, Blender is more like um, Prosper and Lending Club, okay? 
they give real micro loans, you know, 20, 30,000 shekels to a, a private uh, loaners. And it's more than uh, consuming uh, loans, we can say. For us, we call it prosper loans because we give to the business. I give an example. When you buy a car, okay, as a private uh, a lender, uh, you just make your risk upper because let's say a family have income of has an income of twenty thousand shekels and the expenses are fifteen thousand shekels a month and you now you buy a car in lease or something like that that costs uh, three thousand shekels a month so you, you the savings are two thousand months and and the flexible of the of the of the family is is getting less and and something is something bad happened it, it's making economy less but if the uh, uh, taxi driver you buy the same car okay now he can make longer trips he can work harder and the same expense just make the uh, uh, income grow okay so this is like the, di the difference between us and blender one more thing is that uh, businesses have a lot of data okay they have reports uh, supply reports, uh, reports, uh, yearly profit, uh, uh, I know how to call it in, in, in English, but uh, you have a lot of data, okay? And they have a lot, we have, we work with agencies, okay? That also check the businesses and give them score, okay? We always want to check what, what are the clients and their suppliers and what are the, if there are many suppliers or many clients or something like that, uh, we can check if they have um, uh, if they sue them or they used to sue a lot of a lot of other people. We can make a very good profile for the loaner, okay, very, from a lot of data that private consumer in Blender you cannot make a good profile as I think because you could probably can ask for three. Uh, paychecks and maybe give me a, a bank account and something like that and you probably will not gain securities or that 25,000 shekels loan or something that we give you guarantee a uh, uh, third party guarantee that we have in BTB so as I said we uh, we give more uh, we can assume the risk better that uh, our competitive um, if I could add something, Yoshua, um, when I looked at the different companies, one of the questions I had was, I'm a very good client at the bank and um, I could borrow money. I just got a loan for the solar panels that I discussed in the group at prime plus less than two, prime plus 1.8 or something. Okay. So I could borrow from the bank at 3.4, 3.5 or 3.6 even as a good client. If I could, if I, if the good clients can borrow at that rate, I mean, that is exceptionally good, but still, then why would they go to B lender and borrow at a lot higher rate? You've got to ask yourself who's doing that. Whereas businesses, when they go to borrow at the bank, the B, the rate B to, I know this from working at the bank, the rate B to B is giving them is very competitive for them. So that was one of the things, at least for me, that was very defining of like, okay, you know, how to sort of look at the different companies and see, what made sense? Great point. All right, Roy and I are staying on for another couple of minutes. If there are more questions, if not, really, I've really enjoyed the questions, and I see there's great interest, and it's uh, it's you been can, great. You can ask. I'm here, okay? Roy, yes. yes. maybe if I if you could uh, again show a personal zone to everybody who wants to see how it's done and what the numbers really look like after a while. That you I can you show you my account, my personal account that I give example with, no problem. Um, you can share it, I made you host. Okay. Wait a second. Share uh, screen. If there's a question while well, while you're getting that up if you have a red loan is it only for that day does it change on a nightly basis 
What again? If you have a red loan, is it a red yeah. loan only for the day, or does it change each night? The red loans, like how do they no, work? It's, it's every 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 day. It's it's if if tomorrow we're gonna have a agreement with the loaner, it's gonna be yellow tomorrow. Okay, it's change every day. Every day it change. Okay, let's put it in English. Okay, I don't usually use it in English, but here you can see that I have more than 400 loans, okay? My interest uh, yearly is 6.76. I can see all my profits in netto, okay, net. Uh, my deposit, I did it in, let's say, you see when I deposited it. In the end of uh, January uh, 2018, something like two and a half years. Okay, so it's two and a half years, so you can see what uh, my account did. And you can see, okay, if I want to see that uh, today I have like 47 shekels that I got returned and tomorrow probably the platform will, uh, will um, put it in loans. Uh, I can see the tax that I paid. I can see everything, okay? If I have like, um, uh, settlement loans that uh, it's called DLO. Okay, we'll see it in that. This one, all of them were red before. Okay, and delayed. You can see it here. I have like 14 loans that are red. It's 20. Uh, it's 240 shekels that I gain every uh, month. I gain uh, my uh, monthly return from the mutual fund. Okay. And when we arrange it and settlement it, it will